One great thing about Verbum is that you can carry your entire library and many of the tools and resources that Verbum offers with you in your pocket. And this works here, the mobile app, both for telephones and for tablets. And in this video, I would like to introduce you to the mobile app, which is available for both iOS and Android. Here I am looking at my English standard Catholic edition, uh, st standard version Catholic edition uh, in the mobile app. And the first thing that you'll notice here is that my highlights are available. I have here the notes that uh, I took on my Bible. I could follow any of these links to open up the catechism or different passages in the scriptures. If uh, I click on the top or tap on the top of the screen, a top and bottom bar will appear with different options about the resource or in general about uh, the Verbum app. Notice here, for example, in resources, you have a table of contents menu. If I tap on this from a Bible, uh, I will get a verse picker by default that I can, it will easily allow me to navigate to any verse in the scriptures. And in other resources, I'll get a simple table of contents that I can navigate in to quickly get to where I am looking to go. Now, when you're studying the scriptures, typically you're gonna to wanna to study either a verse or a word. How do you do this in the mobile app? To study a verse, simply tap on the verse. And I will do so, for example, here, let's say I wanna study John 6, 51. If I simply tap on this verse, Verbum will select the verse, and I have options related to highlighting that I can choose here. I could uh, open up a passage guide or an exegetical guide here. Notice if I uh, scroll down here a little bit, I have access to my notes. I have access as well to the fact book entries that are present in this verse. So this is really great. Let's go ahead and open up a passage guide. If I simply tap on this, Verbum will open up a second resource panel here. And I have access to the entire passage guide, just like I do on the desktop. Most of the, or many of the, the options are available here, the more important ones anyway. And I can open up my commentaries here to quickly study this passage. To get back to my Bible, I can simply swipe to the left and Verbum will bring me right back. So that's how you study a verse in Verbum. What about when you want to study a word? For a word, simply long tap on the word, or you can also double tap. So here, let's say I long tap on the word bread. Verbum brings up a menu with, again, options for highlighting. But notice here I also have options for search. I can run a search in line, which will search within this specific Bible. Or I can choose the search option. This will open up a new search panel and will search in my top Bibles. If I scroll down here as well, this is great. I get word info and I can see what is the underlying Greek or Hebrew or Aramaic word that is behind this translation. It can, if I choose more here, I'll also be able to see details from my lexicon. And again, I have here the fact book information. So Verbum is telling me that when Jesus is speaking here about bread, he is actually referring to himself, uh, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior of the world. So this is a great tool. It's great that all of this information from my library is integrated right into Verbum. Now, one of the things that you're typically going, on, going to want to do when you study a Bible is read a Bible together with a commentary. How can you do this? Well, I'm going to tap up here on the top of the screen again to bring up the top and bottom menus. And notice here on the bottom that there is a layouts menu. And if I tap on this, Verbum gives me uh, different options that I can choose from. And uh, in this case, I simply want a side-by-side -side menu. But notice if you have a large screen, you can have uh, even... Uh, you know, four or five or more resources available on the screen at the same time. So I'll simply tap on this and Verbum creates a second panel for me. And I can open up a new book. Here I have, for example, the Ignatius Catholic Study Bible. I could simply open this up and now I have a commentary to read together with my Bible. Now, by default, when I open it up, if I start scrolling here, notice that the commentary doesn't scroll with the Bible. I need to add it to the same link set. To do so, uh, simply come up here and choose from the panel menu the link set. And here my Bible is already set to link set A. If I come over to my commentary, I can also set it to link set A. And now these will navigate together. And let me give you a little tip here because in the mobile app, there is an option to follow only. And what this will do, I'm going to go ahead and choose this, is that now when I navigate in my Bible, my 
uh, my commentary will follow my Bible. But if I navigate in my commentary notice, my Bible doesn't move because my commentary is set to follow only. So it will follow if I move my Bible, but it will not lead my Bible. And this is a great setting for reading your commentary together with your Bible. Now, one of the things that you'll want to do, apart from studying your, the scripture, of course, is also reading other books with your mobile app. How can you do that? Down here below, uh, right next to the layouts menu, there is an overview uh, menu, which will allow me to see all the different panels that I have open. So I have here my uh, Bible and commentary. I have the passage guide that I just opened. And I can easily close these here from the X, but I can also add new panels. So let's go ahead and open up a new panel. And uh, I will open up uh, Ecclesia de Eucharistia. Let's say I want to read this encyclical by St. Pope John Paul II about the Eucharist. And I can simply read through this just like any resource. I have here the table of contents. I can uh, add highlights and notes to this, as we saw. But one feature I'd like to point out to you here that I'm really excited about is the read aloud feature. Now in any resource in Verbum, there is a icon here that appears that allows you to read aloud using your iOS or your Google Voices. If I simply tap on this, Verbum opens up a small menu down here and it begins to process this Did text the for reading. Who took part in the Last Supper understand the meaning of the words spoken by Christ? Perhaps not. Those words would only be fully clear at the end of the Triduum Sacrum. So that sounds pretty good. If I uh, drag this up, I can get a full screen option uh, menu with different options about this. And I want you to notice here the voice option. If you tap on this, uh, both in iOS and in uh, and in uh, Android, you'll have different options about the voices that you can choose from. If you are in iOS, make sure that you're using an enhanced voice. It may not be set that way by default. And if you're not seeing the enhanced voices, simply scroll down here and follow the instructions at this link, learn how. So that's how you can read a book in, uh, in uh, the mobile app. Let me just show you a few more features that the mobile app has here. Down here at the bottom, there is a home icon. And this will bring you to your home screen, which is very similar to what we have in the desktop app. We can open up here a little liturgy layout or a Bible and commentary layout, for example, and you can add uh, different options here from the plus menu. So be sure to check that out. That can be really useful. Another option that you'll want to take a look at here is there's a uh, the library option here, which will allow you to quickly get to all of your books and it works very similar to how it does in the desktop app. As well down here below, we have an icon to quickly open up our Bible, to quickly open our, our documents, our tools. Notice all the different tools here available in the mobile app, uh, as well our fact book or a search panel. And then finally here on the right, there is a, a list of all of the different tools here in the hamburger menu that are available in the mobile app including uh, system-wide settings that you can play around with. So be sure to uh, enjoy and use the mobile app. It's one of my favorite features uh, uh, in Verbum and one of the great things about it because it allows you to take your library everywhere.